This video is about the Candel KuCam 8K360 camera, the first consumer 360 camera to feature 8K resolution. It's also the most affordable 8K camera, yet offers similar image quality to the $4,200 Candel Obsidian R. We're going to talk about its specifications and features. I was also one of the very few people who've been invited to try it out, and I'm going to give you my hands-on impressions. I'll be posting a full review when they send it to me at, by the end of the month. Don't miss the full review. For the latest news and reviews on 360 cameras, hit subscribe, but don't forget to hit the notification bell. Is 8K overkill? I mean, you don't have an 8K monitor, so why, why do we need an 8K? Now with 360 cameras, your video resolution or photo resolution has to be spread out over the entire 360 degree field of view. So effectively, you're only looking at a small crop at any given time. And that's why you need to have the highest resolution possible to get decent video quality and photo quality on a 360 camera. So even on a 1920 by 1080 screen, you'll still see the full resolution uh, from this 8K video. I got to try it out, what it looks like, what it feels like. It's a bit heavier than I expected and larger than I expected for sure. It's almost like having two um, GoPro Maxes, one on top of the other. It's that big, but it's not bulky by any means. It's easily uh, portable. You know, it's not like you'll need a special bag or anything like that. Now let's talk about its specifications and features. First, video resolution. It's going to be 7680 by 3840 at 30 FPS. That's the highest resolution for 360 cameras for consumers. And this is the first consumer 360 camera with 8K resolution. It's also the first to feature 10-bit video. Other consumer 360 cameras and even some professional 360 cameras use 8-bit video. So they have, they're limited to 256 levels per channel or 16.7 million colors. Now with the KuCam 8K, you have 10 bits. So that's 1024 uh, levels per channel. So that's a total of 1 billion colors. In other words, 64 times more colors than an 8-bit color. KuCam 8K also features 1 over 1.7 inch sensors. Those are huge. Regular 360 cameras use sensors that are either 1 over 2.3 inches or 1 over 3.2 inches. A 1 over 1.7 inch sensor is 54% larger than a 1 over 2.3 inch sensor. It's also 279% larger than a 1 over 3.2 inch sensor. So the KuCam uses H264 or H265. The bitrate in H265 is 200 Mbps, but to, do, to get that bitrate, you'll need to use a V30 rated micro SD card. So I just want to put some context into these numbers to help you understand them. Now, I spoke to Dan Chen, the CEO for Kandao, and he said that the image quality that you can get from the KuCam 8K is similar to the quality that you can get from the Kandao Obsidian R. That's a $4,200 camera. And in fact, the Obsidian R originally sold for $8,000 in November of 2016. So you're getting that quality and instead of dealing with six memory cards, you're dealing with only one memory card. And in fact, you can edit your video on your phone. So that's, that's insane. So what's the catch? Well, obviously you don't have 3D, 360 capability. The other thing is the stitching. The, because the, the KuCam, the original KuCam was famous for its stitching because of its large overlap. It had a 220 degree field of view per lens. Now the KuCam 8K's field of view is only 200 degrees. So there's a smaller overlap. Now the benefit of that is the higher resolution. But on the other hand, this with less overlap, you can expect that the stitching won't be as good. Uh, now we'll just have to see whether uh, Kandao's stitching algorithm can compensate for that difference. Now my friend Hugh Ho from Creator Up has an Insta360 Pro 2 and Kandao Obsidian R. So I've asked him if he could kindly test the Kandao KuCam AK against those cameras. Now he's really busy, but hopefully he'll be able to get those tests done. Um, so be sure to check out his channel. Uh, one thing that's cool too with the um, Kandal KuCam 8K is that it uses a folded optical path 
kind of like the Theta Z1 and the Theta. Uh, you can see that based on this diagram that they showed us where you can see that the sensors are placed on the side rather than on the axis of the lens. So the benefit of this it, is you could move the lenses closer to each other so there's less parallax stitching error. In other words, you'll get smoother stitching. KuCam 8K also has slow motion video. It can shoot up to 4K at up to 120 FPS in 10-bit video. Compared to other 360 cameras, that's the highest available resolution for slow motion. It's tied with the Insta 360 One X. It's also the highest frame rate at 120 FPS. Um, and it's got the highest bit depth with 10-bit uh, video. Photo resolution is 7680 by 3840, about the highest for consumer 360 cameras. It also has support for 12-bit DNG RAW, DNG8 RAW Burst Mode, and Real-Time RAW Plus, which can stack an 8-shot DNG RAW Burst and convert it to a 16-bit DNG output on the mobile app. No PC needed. So how good is the photo quality? Again, let's put it into context. So on Facebook, I have a friend, Yu Ching Guo. He's really good at uh, taking photos with the Theta Z1 and the Kandao KuCam, the original one. Sometimes I've seen comments on Facebook where people say that uh, Yu Ching's DNG8 photos on the KuCam are comparable to his photos from the Theta Z1. Now here's the thing. The KuCam sensor is only a third of the size of the KuCam 8K sensor. So you can expect even better image quality. And that's why I think that the KuCam 8K's photo quality can rival that of the Theta Z1. The KuCam 8K also features a touchscreen. It's got a, a 2.4 inch touchscreen and I've been using the GoPro Max for the last couple of weeks and it's definitely a lot easier to use it with a touch screen so that's a huge improvement one thing that's different with the the screen of the kandao versus the the gopro max is that on the t on the kandao kucam i can swipe and look around the 360 photo on the gopro max when you can't swipe uh, you can see kind of just like, like a single lens view now with the kucam 8k you can swipe and look around the screen so it's in that sense it's more useful KuCam AK also has 6-axis stabilization and the first generation KuCam had one of the best stabilization so the KuCam AK looks like it has great stabilization as well. The KuCam 8K also has mic input. It has a standard 3.5 millimeter uh, mic input and it's one of the very few 360 cameras to have that feature. In terms of memory, it has both built-in and external memory so you can it can use uh, micro sd cards up to 256 gigs it also has a built-in memory of 64 gigs so if you forget your memory card don't worry you'll be fine you'll be able to continue recording battery is a 3600 mah battery non-removable um, and with a estimated battery life of 40 minutes. Kantao explained that the reason they, the battery is non-removable is because the largest battery that's removable that they could find could only record for around 20 minutes long. So uh, they decided to just use an internal battery instead. Uh, the good thing is you can't record while charging. So you can connect it to a USB power source while recording. Now in terms of connectivity, there's built-in Wi-Fi, uh, either 2.4 gig uh, gigahertz or 5 gigahertz with a range of up to 15 meters. It also has a USB type C port uh, with USB 3.0 speeds. Now one feature that a lot of users have been asking for is a replaceable lens and I'm glad to report that it does have an optional replaceable lens covers. The, the, this inner circle can be removed but it's hard to do it here. We we'll remove and then you can add some protective uh, pro protective lens, lens? Cover. Nah, pro lens wow, something like okay. lens cover. So um, can, do you have like ND filter? Yeah, we're thinking about yes, that. Please. We're thinking yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. You, can, you can do ND, yeah, it's really yeah. That would be great. Um, okay. Is it waterproof? Unfortunately, no. But if you use this um, accessory mount uh, frame that they have, then it can become splash proof. This one will yeah. kind of seal all the port here. Uh -huh. All the port here. Yes. So with, with this one, you will have basic uh, antique 
splash functionality. Oh, okay. So you can use it in light ring, something okay. like that. And we also and in addition, dive case, kind of like the Theta Z1 um, and the Insta 360 1X that will let it stitch smoothly underwater. Although I'm expecting that you're going to see a large nader for that. So how much is the Kandal Kukam 8K? Well, it's 589, and I know that sounds high, but again. Remember that its image quality is similar to that of a professional 3D 360 camera that costs as much as $4,200. So in that context, the Kandal KuCam 8K's price is a good value. Now there are some remaining questions that I have, so, however, such as number one, the stitching quality. Um, until now, we haven't seen like a fully 360 photo or video. Uh, for, in order to be able to evaluate that. Uh, so that's something that I'm still waiting for. I'm also wondering about usability. I mean, so far with the sample um, units that we've tried, I mean, the design looks good. I mean, the implementation, though, is like a completely different question. So we'll have to see how well they execute on that vision. So I'm going to have a full review of the Kandal KuCam AK when they send me a review unit, hopefully by this month. Now, uh, in the meantime, if you want to go ahead and pre-order it, you can get a bonus. Uh, there's a free selfie stick with your pre-order when you use my affiliate link below. By the way, if you want the latest news on 360 cameras, don't forget to hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in 360.